So this is this is what we face in this country. I'm right here. This is the Guarimpa General Hospital, and I'm here with um, <laughs> with two of my staff. Since the beginning of this morning, we had a guest because we run hospitality business, and um, that's what we do. So this lady got sick, and we had to take her to to the hospital. Um, first of all, we always report all our guests to the divisional police headquarters, and we did that. And um, a business lady that came in, and of course got really ill that she couldn't stand, she couldn't sit, she couldn't do anything. Um, this is the fifth hospital we're coming to today. From the Guarimpa Setraco Hospital, that's close to where our facility is. Um, if you look right here, she is in the ambulance. She's lying right behind me in the ambulance. Yeah, and we have to pay for every trip to National Hospital, to Guarimpa Hospital, to Setraco, to all the hospitals we have been today. It was at National Hospital that I lost my cool because there, in each of the hospitals, we were told that there's no bed space. And even though they could see that this lady, who is in her early 60s or, you know, um, late 50s, she can't sit, she can't stand, so she's in a stretcher. This is about 8.30 in the evening. We've been up since 7 o'clock in the morning to do all that is required to be done. In each case, when we get there, they will tell us that there's no bed space. They check her vitals, she's okay. Um, she doesn't have high temperature, so it's not COVID-19. But we are told to go home. After I finish raking and shouting because we are not trained. We're not medical people and we can't take care of sick people. And she can't go back to the hotel because everybody, there's no way, there's, we just can't take care of her because, I mean, she can't move, so you know what happens. Everything is done on herself. But here we are, we have been turned back, including National Hospital, Abuja. Don't get sick because it's a very crazy time to be sick in Nigeria. You are on your own. I'm speaking right now. This is, this is Guarimpa General Hospital. This is where we are. Yeah, this is where we are. These are my staff, and that's the lady there. If you can look at the ambulance, you can see her. She's lying there, stretched, and this is every day in Nigeria. You're on your own, just don't get sick. You know, Nigeria is the only place that when you go to the police station and you report a case, they'll tell you that you're on your own. I'm brother came to your house, you need to sort it out yourself. You go to the hospital, you complain to a doctor. They are looking at us, they didn't even care. It's like, you know, in Nigeria, we're so used to, to darkness. We've seen people die too much. It doesn't even make, you know, it's like, it's one people dying in Meduguri, of it's one people dying every other day in the middle belt of Nigeria. It's, it's not a big deal. They really don't care because, I mean, it's just another number, it's another statistics. But how do we keep living like this? I'm so drained and tired. The reason why we're here right now is because she's in this ambulance. The second ambulance just took the COVID-19 supposedly patient who just died. The, the driver took the guy out, you know, because we've been to five different places and we had to return here for him to go and dump the person wherever it is, maybe at the CDC or whatever, I don't know. Then we are waiting for him. He will come back. I don't know how long that is going to take but we are still here once it's done then we will find our way i just made an arrangement now with a private hospital in guarimpa where we'll go and pay maybe ten thousand every day she doesn't it's not somebody i don't i don't know her from anywhere it's not like i know her she's she's broke and she doesn't have the money but this is what we have to do every day nigeria will heal you